Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about how to embed your convert box form uh, to almost every specific page or every particular page in your website using hooked elements. If this, a, if this is an individual block content, um, this is a convert box form. So he would like to have this form embedded in every blog post uh, or single blog pages in his case, but without going to manually and changing every blog post. Um, so you can see this is blog post one of them. So there's this and the other one's the same form. It's the other one the same form. Uh, you could manually go and embed it, but it doesn't make sense. But these new themes such as Astra, Bloxy, Cadence, uh, and all of them are the pro versions, by the way. So the pro versions of these themes, Bloxy, Cadence, and Astra, they have hooked elements. And with hooked elements, you can create a particular element that you can dynamically uh, tell the theme to insert a specific item, a block or a container or a code in specific uh, content of your website. Right? It could be blog pages or it could be post, but basically you just make a rule at one place uh, and then it makes this everywhere. So this video, I'm going to walk through how we do it. So first of all, please make sure you have um, your convert box form or whatever element from convert box uh, set up right um, what I have the what I have done in this in my case is I've created a website already over here and then we have a simple blog email sign up so that's the group and that's the single blog newsletter sign up element so let's look at how it looks um, it's basically a form right a form with a, a text and a and a, a form field right so form field um, and once I create this I would basically go to display and then I would select blog post right don't do anything yet and make sure it's showing to all my visitors don't worry about the targeting options right now because you're making this targeting from the theme level on your website you're not controlling it from convert box right now so um, uh, wait for it to active okay so once you've set up your form and everything just go to display page and wait here leave it as it is and don't make any changes. So the next thing you got to do is make sure um, either the convert box plugin or you have the convert box uh, embed code already inside your website. Now, um, let me just exit it real quick and show you how to integrate it. So basically, if you go to installation um, in convert box, it'll tell you it's in. Do you want to use a plugin or do you want to use a script? In my case, I'm using a script. And this script is being used through something like insert header footer, but I'm using my SEO plugin to do it. So I have SEO press, uh, I bet rank math or any other SEO plugin might also have it, but there's a section where you can put custom tracking code. Um, so I go to SEO press analytics and then go to um, custom tracking part. Um, I insert the convert box script over here. Mind you, I'm putting it in the footer because that's how I put codes. I don't want to load everything in the beginning. I just want to load once all the contents loaded. Also, the sign up box itself is at the bottom of the content, right? So my user is not going to see the first thing. It's not going to be the first thing to be seen. So that's why I load it at the bottom. But if, if it's the first thing you ever want to load, then of course you can move it to the head. Again, if you don't have your SEO plugin with these, there is an insert header footer plugin that can do it as well. Um, that gets the code itself, right? So once you have the code, to enable convert box. Now you need to make this particular convert box show up to a certain level, right? Certain place. So that's why what you would need to do is remember I said hold up and go to uh, this page and keep it. So in this case, convert box makes it pretty easy. It'll tell you, okay, where are you gonna embed it? Actually, it doesn't matter whatever code you use. Uh, you, could, you could say homepage, blog, whatever. It doesn't matter because um, you're the one who's going to control where you want to display this uh, short code. See, in my case, I'm not using a plugin, so I'm not going to use a short code. In my case, I'm using the, the code which is embedded right through the analytics plugin. So I would just copy this code right now. Where do you embed it? If you were making, um, if you were, how do you say, embedding it manually, you would go to every blog post and put it at the bottom of the place or wherever you want to show it, right? But these new amazing themes such as Bloxy, Astra, um, Cadence Theme Pro, they have this thing called Hooked Element, and I use that. So I'm using 
uh, Bloxy Pro in this case. So what you do is go to Bloxy. There is content blocks. Um, okay, let me expand this a little bit so it's easier to see. And I created a block called content block called convert box newsletter sign up, right? So I would basically click on add new and it's a hooked element, right? It's it's not a pop-up, it's not a custom template, it's a hooked element. And I created convert box uh, newsletter sign up, which is essentially this. Okay. So when this is created, you put the code you got this HTML embed code um, over here. How do you do it? You create a new uh, Gutenberg element and you it's, it's HTML code. So once you do a uh, slash over here, you can do HTML, like search for HTML, do this and then insert the code, right? Um, so I've already done that. Now what happened is you created a um, automated um, hooked element but you've not decided where to show it. So this is where you decide where particularly do you want to show it, right? Um, here, I've chosen, in, in, in Bloxy Pro, it asks you where do you want to show it, what's the priority, and which particular content do you want to show it in, right? So I'm showing it in block content, I say priority 10, that's the default, and I say include single post, right? And then over here, it does say bottom content. Now, all these themes also have this unique feature that tells you where's the location of the hooked element. So let's say you were to go to the, let me hide theme hooks. So let's say I know my content of the website and I know where I want to put it, but I don't know the exact spot for the theme. Where is it, right? So Bloxy has this awesome feature where I just click on show theme hooks. So it tells me where do I select that particular place? That's where the form or whatever element I want to show will automatically dynamically be loaded, right? So in this case, it was Bloxy single content bottom. I copied it and then I go to my uh, hooked element um, thing over here and I put that in, right? So that's, that's what it is. I selected it and I click update. Now, um, the way I've set up my analytics, you will not see here because um, in my analytics, I prevented the admin and the user who's already logged in to see um, things or be tracked. So that doesn't matter. However, what I do is I open a new incognito window and I, let me refresh the page. So this is one blog post, let, let it load. There you go, it pops up. You know why it's taking a little bit of, there's a delay of the second because remember in uh, my analytics, I put it at the footer. So in a website, the header elements loads first and the body element loads first and the uh, and the footer element loads the last right so that's why there was a slight delay because um, I told specifically in my um, analytics and the tracking code area that put it on the footer right so that's why it took uh, some delay um, I'm also embedding another cool thing over here it's a reviews um, uh, pop-up bar thingy with endorsal so that's the other code but what you can now see is I have three blog posts and this is a dummy site, right? I, it's just for tutorials. So this is a dummy site. It has three posts, one, two, three posts, number one, two, three. So I did not have to go individually and um, edit each blog post because now if you see, boom, one's here, the other one's here, the other one's here, right? So they're all here. Now, just to verify and show you that I'm talking about the real thing, let me put it at... Um, the top of the page let's see what happens right so let's say I mean there's more places I could put under the author area but let's say I want to put it right after the featured image um, so single content top okay um, two if you want to build nope not that let's just quickly see how it looks okay so maybe right after um, your description I just want to test it and see how it looks okay so go over here, I'm gonna say before description, before description, okay. Let's update it. Um, let's just try to see how does it appear. Um, so it should not show up here anymore and it should be at the top, right? So that's what it is. Now here's the beautiful thing. Let's look at all the other blog content. Let's see you have thousands of blogs and guess what? You didn't need to manually go and do it yourself. So for every content, the boxes here okay now let me quickly recap what do you need to do so first of all make sure your convert box 
is already set up everything is fine uh, you can enable it no problem all right so go to customize whatever right um, display you can select anything um, in this particular case it's gonna be on a blog post so I said okay embed code but I'm pretty sure the embed code is gonna be the same regardless like C box whatever it, if you see the the these these HTML codes it doesn't matter because you, you can embed it anywhere uh, but again I just chose the blog post just to be safe right and I said hey all pages of my site non exclude uh, exclude none again these actually I'm com controlling from the theme level so it doesn't matter but make sure it's showing to all visitors and make sure it's already active and you save it right and you uh, I don't have anything integrated like the, the lead is not going anywhere that's why it's showing that error um, here let me show you again what it says is your form does not have any integration set this is just for a, a sample a dummy so I've not integrated it with any service providers or I'm not connect connecting the lead to it go anywhere because just, this is just for tutorial um, but if I have it connected I'll not get this warning right so make sure you have your email service provider or whatever service the lead is getting um, captured connected right so you finish I mean after you save it you finish it um, you got the code like you make sure you, you get the code so once once um, your convert box is either implemented through the WordPress plugin or uh, it's implemented through the analytics like the code the custom tracking code make sure it's there because without this that HTML embed code will not work um, because it's trying to call something but without having this thing to call it will not call anything right so this is the base element once this base element is set then you go to um, in, our, in our case we were using Bloxy it was a content block right it was a, a hook name a hook element so you create a hook element yeah, you go there, you put the HTML code, which is this, that we got from ConvertBox, and you choose the location where you want to put it, and con condition, in, in our case, we put the condition single posts, so you can decide where you want to put it, if you wanted to put it in single pages, you could, but in our case, we decided single post, that's why it's here, and then you click update, and your post should be having or should be showing that uh, particular convert box um, code okay I hope this is helpful I wanted to make this video because the community is super helpful I've learned a lot of things and this is something I know so I thought I'd contribute back um, again um, if you have questions make uh, feel free to comment uh, if something was not clear I would like or I would be obliged and super helpful I mean I'd be happy to help you guys so um, yeah, let me know how it go, how it goes. If if, and again, uh, I'm working on more contents on WordPress marketing, specifically. Um, so if you have uh, more interest in that, uh, tutorials for WordPress and digital marketing, make sure you like the video and uh, subscribe to our channel, um, so we can help push more helpful contents to you. Okay, have a good one, everyone, and thank you for watching this video.